is on a Saturday at 3 o'clock when we open, and that's when all of us, all who are here, we clean the rock. We vacuum and we sweep and uh, we dust. We get rid of all the uh, dust that uh, is in places that we generally don't get to. And it kind of gets dirty after a while. We don't pay a custodian. Uh, we're a, a nonprofit organization, and so we have to save wherever we can. One way we do that is with them. all of us as a team working together to keep the rock clean. And I would think that you would want to help with that because it is expensive to run the rock. It costs about $85,000 to run the Rock Youth Center a year. It costs about $200,000 and plus to buy the building and then to remodel it. So even though it's free for you to use, it's not cheap. It's very expensive to run and to own. We own this building now. Nobody's going to tell us we have to get out. We own it, and it's a wonderful place for teens to come and to be. This is not a government-run youth center, all right? It's run by four churches in town. Four churches got together, and they said, we want to make a great place for the teenagers of Watertown. This is a place for grade 7 through 12. Any teenager can come between grades 7 and 12. Those four churches, two of them are right up the road, St. Mark's and St. John's. Have any of you heard of those two churches or even one of them? Okay, especially those that have come before, all right? You've been to church at one of them, right? St. Mark's, you came with us. You even sang over there. And those are right up the road, only a few blocks. St. John's and St. Mark's are right across the street from each other. Trinity Lutheran Church is in the middle of town. That's by Veterans Park. That's another one of the four churches. They're all Lutheran churches. And the last one is St. Luke's Lutheran Church, which is over by Clark Park. Those are come to the rock and for the rock itself, and especially to give God glory. Like, for example, when you eat and drink anything. And by the way, a lady brought some great food today. I think she brought some uh, cake. cake. And that's free for you later. Uh, but and we'll get it out but you always eat and drink everything in the kitchen area in that area right there don't think that the tile going down by the pool tables is a place where you can eat and drink we had one time where somebody bumped somebody else who had a soda the soda went all over the pool table and it's ruined it has to be recovered when that happens because it'll be stained forever uh, and so you got to take the whole cover off and you got to put a new one on which costs a lot of money with or about why okay let's pray everybody okay so now you know how to how to respect the rock that God has blessed us with let's pray respect our prayer time dear loving gracious Lord God thank you for the new teens that we have here today uh, lead them to know that the rock is a wonderful place, a good place that is built on Christ and your word, a place where we have uh, great role models that care about them genuinely and sincerely, a place where they know that they will be respect, respected and treated very well. Help us, dear Lord, to show love to all of them as you have shown love to us. Lead us also, dear Lord, to forgive as you have forgiven us. Help us, dear Lord, when we do wrong, to come before you for forgiveness and to know that we have it through Jesus our Savior. Continue to bless the rock as you have done for the last 14 years that it has been open. Thank you, dear Lord, and this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Um, I know I always fall asleep. I always fall asleep. I always fall